The weekend started on a Friday night for the Panthers. Friday night ice hockey with the visit of big Midlands rivals, the Coventry Blaze. Two vital elite league points up for grabs between two teams who don't particularly get on and who last time they met in Coventry just a couple of weekends prior to this one, it went to a 24-shot shutout with Coventry just edging it on the night. That's the only point Nottingham have dropped in recent times in their rise up the standings. Craig Kowalski came back to start this one in goal. He was to have a stellar night and we had other guys playing out of position because bodies were missing. There was a nasty twist in the tail at the end of this one but it was a good start to the weekend for your GMB Nottingham Panthers. Dan Green's with me Gary Mran in the commentary box and Matt and Mark Daunt are handling the cameras. Nice little tip inside from Lakovic, teed up by Farmer for Benedict. This is a hard-working line. Benedict drives the front. There's a rebound. It's right in front. We couldn't get to the first bite of the cherry, but we've got to it and kept possession. Benedict fakes the shot, then throws in. It's loose, and it's in the back of the net on the backhand shot. And exactly three minutes from Robert Farmer from Long Eaton. All the way from Long Eaton, just over the border in Derbyshire. All the way down Brian Clough Way and he's popped the first goal for the GMB Panthers. Yeah, that was a great goal, that great play by Benny. Didn't really have a very good play on, nothing much nothing much there. So like Corey says, just throw it at the net and Stewart made a couple of good saves, but yeah, the third one, Farmers put that top corner, it was nice. It's thrown in, Panthers get a stick in from Steve Lee. Now they've got time to clear, here's Chris Lawrence, he's working it forward. There's some interesting statistic, and you know, I can't remember it, but it's something like Panthers have scored 12 short-handed goals and not many more power play goals this year. Really, 12, yeah, I, kn I knew we'd it's 12 short-handed. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't realize it was that many, but yeah, we've, we've got really good killers and not just guys that, that score the, oh, here we go. Stewart in a tangle with Boxel. Omara, Boxel still got it. Omara grabs Boxel's shirt, right to the front door, gotta be, yes! That's another one. Fired in another short-handed goal, all because of the tenacity of Jonathan Boxel in the corner. Stewart in a tangle. And the Nottingham fans will be chanting, it's all your fault pretty soon after that one. Panthers short-handed, double their lead with eight and a half seconds to go first period. I told Mosey he was going to score today as well. So yeah, great work by Boxy. I'm not quite sure what happened in the corner while the goalie got so tangled up, but yeah, great, great work from Boxy. The puck comes out and Mosey isn't going to miss that. Gloved and brought the other way by Cody Wilde on the centering pass from Lee. Drop back to Doucette, pulls a move. Still has it in the corner. They're paying attention to Doucette, aren't they, the Coventry Blaze? They usually have a couple on him. It's back. Cody Wilde with a shot. Hits the chest. Rebound. It's in the back of the net. I don't know if Doucette will get the goal or if Robert Farmer got a tip on it, but it was a rebound on a wicked shot that came back off the chest after Cody Wilde fired it. And Doucette and Farmer were right on the doorstep. And the pucks ended up in the back of the net at 37-40. Panthers three, Blaze nil. Yeah, great job there by Cody. He's got a he's got a hell of a shot back there, and he fires in. Stewart obviously can't control the rebound because it's up high, and two set set to pounce on. I'm not sure if him or Farms put it in, but they're both there or thereabouts. So I'm sure Farms will claim it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's obviously you can never you can never tell which is going to be the easier of a game before they're played. But obviously, being at home, good hit there by Mose. You know, doesn't have to travel and he can hopefully get a good game in here. Ejen has just thrown half a dozen cross checks for a quite clean hit by Evan Mosey and then won't let him get set. There was nothing wrong, I don't think, with the hit from Evan Mosey. Gets help from Lee and Farmer, and they've got the puck now. It was a big hit from Omara. Farms has jumped straight in there. Hi boy, Farms. A big hit. It took, I think it's Stevie Lee. Yeah, it's took Stevie. the full force of it. He's down and Farms has jumped in. And Farmers throwing some punches in the corner now. 13-19 to go on the game. The linesmen get in. What Edgina did at one end, Farmer does at the other. Stevie Lee shaken. Hopefully he'll be okay. Stevie's pretty, pretty tough kid, so. Could be, it, looked, it looked like he was momentarily knocked out, though. That's bad news for the trip to Cardiff tomorrow. 
Really good to see Farms there jump in and stick up for him. I didn't actually see if it was a bad hit or not, but it doesn't matter, you know, at home, a hit like that, especially on someone like Stevie, great job by Farms. Cody Wild to Lawrence. Lawrence skates with it. You know he's going to backhand it to Wild. Wild gives it to the side of the net. It skips past Doucet. Doucet has to use the boards to get it round to Wild. Wild gives him it back. Still 30 seconds of five on three power play for the GMB Nottingham Panthers. Cross to Lawrence. Lawrence tries from this side. No, gives it to Lakovic. Gets it back. It's on its end. He couldn't shoot it. Wild. Triangle's getting tighter. Can Panthers get it to the front? Yes, they can. Can Brandon Benedict put it in the back of the net? Yes, he can. Stewart now. The goalie is moaning at the referee. But at the end of the day, it's a five-on-three power play goal. Panthers lead by four goals to nil. And uh, the great thing about that is I believe they scored it uh, while well, we were still five on three. So, yeah, now we're still on a five on four for three and a half minutes. So, I mean, I think it was just a matter of time there. Larry and Cody knocked it around. Benny was in front causing some chaos. And uh, Deuce managed to find him and a great finish by Benny in front of the net there. Really good power play again by the boys. Panthers win the draw. Penalty kill. It's run all the way through. Doucette turns it on and goes past Sescon, brings it round the front and makes it 5-0 for the GMB Panthers with 90 seconds to go. Is there anything quicker than a quick fit fitter? Evan Mosey is. Is there anything nearly as quick as Evan Mosey? Maybe he's Guy Doucette is. Yeah, he showed great speed there, Deuce, to get onto that. Held the D-man off and then just round shot. I say he's lethal anywhere around that blue paint. He's one of the best snipers I've seen, so yeah, it was a nice goal. Nice way to finish it off. Robert Farmer joins us. The weekend had a great start for the Jimmy Panthers with a 5-0 shutout against the Coventry Blaze. Killer came back, Craig Kowalski in nets. Um, it was soured at the end, we might talk about that in a moment. Uh, great performance from guys playing out of position. And a Gordie Howe hat-trick for Robert Farmer from Long Eaton. Yeah, I think we, we, had, we had an idea we wanted to come out fast today and we, we got an early goal again. And, and yeah, the way we've been playing lately has been good. Obviously, we've had very solid goaltending and the defence and the penalty kill have been great. And uh, again, they kept us, they kept them down and we managed to go to the run score. It was a big, wide open scoreline when the big elbow came in to take Stevie Lee out. You jumped straight in to protect your teammate. Yeah, I mean, obviously, it's just instinct and I hope Steve gets better soon. The game itself was full of positives for the GMB Panthers. Yeah, obviously, they got guys like Ollie and, and Oki and, and those guys, they played played a lot of minutes tonight and they played very well and and I know a couple of guys played out of position and everyone did a great job again it's been it's been you know three or four weekends in a row now where we've we've stuck to our system and done done what we've been told and it's ended up working out pretty good for us and just one one word you won't mind me saying this you're not the fastest guy out on the ice <laughs> right okay so you don't mind me saying that no nope. but how fast are Evan Mosey and Guy Doucette oh man can't keep I can't keep up with them <laughs> they're a couple of steps ahead of me <laughs>